What's going on guys in the works and welcome to some City Rush Madness here on Sing Crossing. Probably one of my favorite maps in the game. I think a lot of you guys probably enjoy it as well. It seems to be one of the most popular maps across the board in Battlefield 3. Uh, just because it is so fast paced, there, there tends to be a lot of really close, you know, down to the wire games on this map. No matter what objective you're on, it seems like every objective is very, very stressful. Uh, I know this first objective here that's inside the stairwell on the other side of where I'm facing. Uh, is actually one of the trickiest ones to get in the entire game just because it is so isolated from everything else. Uh, but I think that's what makes this map exciting because it does take a coordinated team effort to get in there. But once you get in there, uh, it's really tough for the defenders to hold it once you get some people in there spawning in the staircase and whatnot. So uh, I really do enjoy this map, but we are using the AUG today. And this is going to be the first of a couple videos I'm doing where I'm going to go through some of the different classes in Battlefield 3 and just talk about some of my favorite weapons. Because, you know, Battlefield 3 is coming to a close and I want to kind of reflect on the weapons that I personally have enjoyed using the most in the game. And the AUG is definitely one that I have to include because when Close Quarters came out, I was super excited to see that they were actually including this weapon because it's always been one of my favorite weapons in first person shooters. I just like the way it looks. It's just a cool futuristic, you know, it's got that bullpup design. Just an all-around cool weapon to use. I like its signature you know, army green default camo that's always got on it. I think that's really what makes the AUG cool to me. Because I, I just, I don't know, it's nice to see a weapon that just isn't black metal for a change. Uh, but that being said, how does it perform in the game? Is it actually, you know, a good weapon? You know, why would I use it if it's not good? Well, it's actually a pretty decent weapon. Now, is it as good as it used to be? No. But have they actually patched it? No. And you're like, well, if they haven't patched it, then how is it not as good as it used to be? Well, it used to be the middle ground weapon. So think all the way back to the Close Quarters days, back when Close Quarters had just come out. I mean, that was over a year ago. Kind of strange to think about. Close Quarters has been out that long. But we hadn't gotten the M416 buff. We hadn't gotten the M16 nerf. Uh, so things were still a little bit different. We had the AK-74M and the L85, which are pretty similar in, in design and, and recoil patterns and fire rates to the AUG. But the AUG shot 50 rounds per minute faster because it shoots 700 versus the 650 of like the AK-74M. So back before the M416 got its, you know, its giant buff, this was basically, in my eyes, the best middle ground weapon. A nice, solid rate of fire. It wasn't off the charts or anything like that. Easy to control recoil. Really awesome handling because it is a bullpup weapon, which means that you can move in and out of tight spaces and actually have good hip fire. Uh, because the bullpup weapons in the game do get better hip fire bonuses, uh, which made this a pretty versatile weapon. I mean, easy to control recoil was really, really something that a lot of console players enjoyed i know uh when i actually hopped on xbox the other night because surprisingly enough i got the urge to see what was up in the battlefield world on xbox and i checked it out and i ran into a lot of people using the l85 and i actually asked a couple of you guys on twitter if you had any idea why it seemed like on console that a lot of people go towards these lower fire rate easy to control weapons and it's just basically the recoil pattern so the AUG, in my eyes, was a really attractive weapon. I mean, it was filling the gap of maybe like the M16 AEK uh, before you went down to the AK-74M and the L85. So there was almost like three tiers of weapons. Uh, and the handling on this thing was just really what sold me on it. So this is one of why I had to include it in some of my favorite weapons. Because there was a period of time when if I was going to get serious, if I wanted to just pick a weapon that I really wanted to have a good time with, it was the AUG. Because not only did I like the weapon as a weapon, I thought it performed really nice in the game now uh, after the M416 buff and after all the different changes in the game I feel like the AUG kind of lost some of that that swagger it had and no I'm not saying swag I'm saying swagger it's a little bit different it's an old-school term back when you know our grandmas and grandpas used that term but it definitely became less attractive because the M416 was just so ridiculously good now they did bring it back down to earth the M416 that is but it's still, I think, a little bit better than the AUG. Even though it doesn't have as good of hip fire, it's still really easy to control, and you do get 50 rounds per minute more in the fire rate. So uh, I think the AUG kind of just got lost. I mean, you don't really see a ton of people using this any these days. But, you know, I got around, I think, 700 kills with the AUG, which is a lot considering that my kills are very dispersed. I was looking at my combat record or my service record or whatever they call it, my battle log. I was looking at all the weapons I had kills with, and I'm like, man, you know, I feel like mine is just really not that impressive because I don't have a lot of kills with, you know, the same weapon. Because uh, the ACR is my most used weapon at, like, a 1,000 kills. But then when I thought about it, I was like, okay, well, you know, I have uh, 500 kills with, like, over 40 weapons at this point so i guess you know i have a very diverse combat record and that's something to be proud about so 700 kills with a weapon is actually a lot for me all things considered 
just because I tend not to stick with a weapon past getting the first service star or my first mastery uh, tags with it or whatever you want to call it. So uh, AUG, one of my favorite assault rifles. I still think that it's a very viable option. I had a really good couple rounds with it. This is one of the good rounds I had with it where I, I mean this is just really easy to control recoil. I think it's great if you have a hard time with weapons with a lot of recoil but you want something with a little higher fire rate and you're sick of using the M416, try out the AUG. I think you'll find them pretty comparable. I actually think you might actually like the AUG a little bit better uh, just because you do get the hip fire bonuses of it. So, uh, I'm not going to do the AN94 video for the assault class. I'll probably move into the engineer for my next video. I want to go through some of the, you know, each individual class, kind of talk about my favorite weapons. And I thought AUG was perfect to, to kick this thing off since we hadn't talked about it in a while. And it's definitely one of the weapons that I think maybe defined some of the guns I used in Battlefield 3. Um, so it's interesting. You know, this will be a nice little close on the book that is Battlefield 3 so we can kind of see what weapons I like. Now, we all know what's going to be coming out. Uh, for the engineer class. We all know the ACR is on the way because I absolutely love that weapon. It's probably one of my favorite weapons in the game and uh, it's definitely got to be one of my favorite uh, engineer weapons. So that'll definitely be the next video. But I'm going to do two for the engineer, probably two for support. Uh, maybe do one for recon because recon is pretty similar. Uh, most of the bolt actions are pretty much the same. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. AUG for the win. Go try it out. I, I think it's worth using if you haven't used it in a while. Pretty good around. If you missed my past videos though, here's a chance to catch up. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.